The Adventures of Tintin from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org. The Adventures of Tintin, Les Aventures de Tintin, drawn and written by the Belgian writer artist Georges Remy, also known as Hergé, is one of the most popular 20th century European comics. According to BBC magazine, over 200 million copies of the comic books have been sold to date, with translations into over 58 languages. The hero of the series is a young reporter and traveller named Tintin, aided by his faithful dog Snowy, Captain Haddock, and a variety of colourful supporting characters. The comic book series has long been admired for its clean yet expressive drawings executed in Hergé's signature Lynn Claire style, their engaging plots, and the painstaking research done while creating the latest stories. They straddle a variety of genres, swashbuckling adventures with elements of fantasy, mysteries, political thrillers, and science fiction. All the titles in the Tantan series include plenty of slapstick humor, offset in later albums by dashes of sophisticated satire and political or cultural commentary. Tantin lives in Brussels, the capital city of Belgium, and the birthplace of Hergé. This is evidenced most notably in Tantin in the Land of the Soviets, where the text states that Tantin arrives in Brussels as he returns home after his adventure, and in Tantin in Tibet, where the letter sent to Tantin by his friend Chang is addressed to Brussels. There are other, more subtle hints in some of the other books, such as recognizable locations, car number blades, etc. However, after Red Rackham's treasure, Tantin moves into Marlin's Spike Hall, whose geographical location is debatable. Section 1. Characters Subsection 1.1. Tantin Main article, Tantin and Snowy Tantin is a young Belgian reporter, as well as an accomplished fighter and pilot, who becomes involved in dangerous cases while he takes heroic action to save the day. Almost every adventure features Tantan hard at work at his investigative reporting, but he is rarely seen actually turning in a story. He is a young man of more or less neutral attitudes, and is less colourful than the supporting cast. The earlier version of Tantan was apparently inspired, at least in part, by Hergé's youngest brother. Hergé later became estranged from his brother and depicted him as the villainous Colonel Spons in The Calculus Affair. Tantin and Spons, although physically very different, have quite similar hair spikes. Subsection 1.2 Captain Archibald Haddock Capitaine Archibald Haddock Main article, Captain Haddock Captain Haddock is Tantin's best friend, a seafaring captain who was introduced in The Crab with the Golden Claws. Haddock was initially depicted as a weak and alcoholic character, but in later albums he became more respectable and genuinely heroic. The captain's coarse humanity and sarcasm acts as a counterpoint to Tantan's often implausible heroism. He is always quick with the dry comments whenever the boy reporter gets too idealistic. Haddock uses all sorts of words as insults and curses to express his feelings, such as blistering barnacles, thundering typhoons, basi basuk, kleptomaniac, anagaluthon, and pockmark, but no words that are actually considered swear words, see list of explanations used by Captain Haddock. Haddock is a hard drinker, especially whiskey of the Loch Lomond brand, and his boats of drunkenness are often used for comic effect. Haddock's surname was derived from a conversation that Hergé had with his wife, in which she mentioned that Haddock was a sad English fish. Hergé shows this name accordingly. Haddock remained without the first name until the last completed story, Tantin and the Picaros, from 1976, when the name Archibald was suggested. Subsection 1.3 Professor Cuthbert's Calculus Professeur Trifon Tournesol Main article, Professor Calculus Note, a literal translation of his French name would be Trifonius Sunflower. Professor Cuthbert Calculus is a distracted, hard-of-hearing professor who invented many objects used in the series, such as a one-person shark-shaped submarine, the moon rocket, and an ultrasound weapon. Calculus seeks to benefit mankind by inventions such as a pill that cures alcoholism by making alcohol taste horrible to the patient. Calculus's deafness is a frequent source of humor, as he repeats back what he thinks he has heard, usually in the most unlikable words possible. Attachez votre ceinture, fasten your belt, is repeated as une tache de peinture, a paint stain. He does not admit to being near deaf and insists on having poor hearing in only one ear. Notably in the moon books, Calculus has a hearing aid inserted, and for the duration of the album has near perfect hearing. This made him a more serious character, as long as the word goat is not uttered in his presence. 
However, in later adventures, Calculus once again lost his hearing aid and went back to his old deaf self. Calculus is a fervent believer in dowsing and carries a pendulum for that purpose. Calculus first appeared in Red Rackham's Treasure and was the end result of Hergé's long quest to find the archetypal mad scientist or absent-minded professor, for instance, Dr. Sarcophagus in Cigars of the Pharaoh and Professor Alambic in King Ottokar's Scepter. Subsection 1.4 Snowy, Milou Main article, Tantin and Snowy Snowy, an exceptionally white fox terrier, is Tantin's four-legged companion who travels everywhere with him. The bond between the dog and Tantin is deeper than life, and they have saved each other from perilous situations many times. Like Captain Haddock, Snowy is fond of whiskey of the Loch Lomond brand, and his occasional bouts of drinking tend to get him into trouble, as does his raging arachnophobia. Subsection 1.5 Thompson and Thompson Dupont et Dupont Main article Thompson and Thompson Thompson and Thompson are two clumsy detectives who, although unrelated, look like twins with the only discernible difference being the shape of their moustache. They provide much of the comic relief throughout the series, as they are afflicted with spoonerism. They are thoroughly incompetent, and always bent on arresting the wrong character, but in spite of this they somehow get entrusted with delicate missions, such as ensuring security for the Sildavian space project. The detectives usually wear bowler hats and carry walking sticks except when abroad, when they insist on wearing the national costume of the country they are visiting so as to blend in the local population, but in general only manage to find some ridiculous folkloric attire that makes them stand apart. The detectives were in part based on Hergé's father and uncle, identical twins who wore matching bowlers. Subsection 1.6 Minor Characters C. List of the Adventures of Tantan Characters and Minor Characters in Tantan Section 2 Fictional countries. Hergé divides several fictional countries later in the series. Sildavia, in particular, is described in considerable detail history, customs, language, etc. Sildavia in the Balkans is, by Hergé's own admission, modelled on Albania and is threatened by neighbouring Borduria. An attempted annexation appears in King Ottokar's sceptre. This situation parallels, respectively, Czechoslovakia or Austria and expansionist Nazi Germany prior to World War II. In the Calculus Affair, Borduria is used as a metaphor of a communist state. Kemet in Arabia San Theodorus in South America, a prototypical banana republic where US-based companies and Borduria, meant as an allusion to the USSR, view for power with advisers of local generals. Sao Rico in South America Nuevo Rico bordering San Theodorus. The two countries go to war over oil in the Broken Ear, which is parallel to the 1930s Chaco War, between Paraguay and Bolivia. Nuevo Rico was also added as a reference in later versions of The Shooting Star. The original version had the bad guy masterminds as stereotypical Jewish American puppet masters. The later version darkens their skin tone and inserts Nuevo Rico as a reference. El Chapo, after the South American Chaco region. The Broken Ear is set in a war inspired by the Chaco War. Sondonesia, a country in Southeast Asia said to be undergoing a civil war with rebels for hire. Rasta Popolo's hired gun, Allen, recruits Sundanesians as gun-toting muscle in Flight 714. They appear to be thinly disguised Khmer Rouge, and Hergé's insistence that Sundanesia is in a state of civil war shows amazing clarity of vision as to the true state of the conflict in Cambodia at the period. The name Sundanesia is a portmanteau of Sunda and Indonesia. Bill Chardenia and Poldavia are both mentioned in the Blue Lotus, Bill Chardenia is mentioned on a newsreel that Tantan views while hiding in the cinema from the police. The Poldavian consul gets mistaken for Tantan in a beard and wig in the Blue Lotus Opium Den. Guy Pachama, an Indian principality based on those that existed during the British Raj, is mentioned in Cigars of the Pharaoh. Section 3. Race and Colonialism The earliest stories in The Adventures of Tantan have been criticized for racist and colonialist leanings including characterized portrayals of non-Europeans. However, Hergé changed his views sometime between these early works and The Blue Lotus, published in 1936. This story, set in China during the then-current Sino-Japanese War, was the first for which he did extensive background research. It criticized Japanese and Western colonial meddling in China and helped to dispel popular myths about the Chinese people, 
though it does contain flagrant stereotyping of Japanese people. From then on, meticulous research would be one of Hergé's trademarks. Some of the early albums were altered by Hergé in subsequent editions, usually at the demand of publishers. For example, at the instigation of his American publishers, many of the black characters in Tantan in America were recolored to make their race white or ambiguous. The shooting star originally had an American villain with a Jewish name, who was changed to an American with a less ethnically specific name in later editions, and subsequently to a South American of a fictional country. The Broken Ear depicted a tribe of head shrinkers, which Hergé originally named the Bibarus in reference to the real-life Jivarus, Shoah people. The explorer Ritual has lived among them for many years and has still not given up trying to teach them to play golf. See also Ideology of Tantin. Section 4. Stage Adaptations A musical based on The Seven Crystal Balls and Prisoners of the Sun premiered on 15 September 2001 at the Stadtschauburg City Theatre in Antwerp, Belgium. It was entitled Cuif de Zon Temple, the musical, and was broadcast on Canal Plus before moving on to Charleroi in 2002 as Tintin le Temple du Soleil. The Young Vic Theatre Company ran a musical version of Tintin in Tibet at the Barbican Art Centre in London from December 2005 to January 2006. Section 5. Memorabilia The Belgian Post issued the Tantan stamp in 1979 to celebrate the day of youth philately. This was the first in a series of stamps with the images of Belgian comic heroes to be issued in later years and was the first stamp in the world to feature a comic hero. The Royal Dutch Post released a set of Tantan stamps on 8 October 1999 which sold out within hours of release. Belgium minted a limited edition, 50,000, silver 10 euro commemorative coin to celebrate the 75th birthday of Tantin in January 2004. Section 6. Merchandise Universal Studios has licensed the rights to Adventures of Tantin merchandise in North America. Section 7. In the Future A trilogy of feature-length live-action Tantin movies are reportedly in development by Universal Studios and DreamWorks. The first film in the series was scheduled to be released in theatres around 2006. A video game, The Many Adventures of Tintin, is being developed by Vivendi Universal and is scheduled to be released for the Nintendo Revolution, Sony PlayStation 3 and Microsoft Xbox 360 in North America, Europe and Australia around 2006. A collection of 21 Adventures of Tintin coloring books based on the original stories is scheduled for release by Domation Press in the United States around 2006. The Many Adventures of Tintin in Universal Orlando Resort, as well as the Tintin Shop and Captain's Kitchen in the City Walk Complex, are scheduled to be opened around 2006. A limited edition of Ellipse Nelvanas, The Adventures of Tintin TV cartoon series, is scheduled for release on DVD in the United States by Universal Studios Home Video around 2006, containing 39 half-hour episodes in seven volumes. Section 8. In Popular Culture Charles de Gaulle once said, My own international rival is Tintin. We are both little people who are not afraid of big ones. In the 1979 film Kramer vs. Kramer, Ted Kramer, Dustin Hoffman, is seen reading to his son the part of Red Rackham's Treasure where Tintin descends into the ocean. Indian movie director Satyad Ray was a Tintin fan and he had shots of Tintin comics in some of his movies. The American comic strip Get Fuzzy has had several references to Tantan over the years. Thompson and Thompson appear in the Asterix comic, Asterix in Belgium. A British 1980s techno band was named the Thompson Twins after the Tantan characters, though strictly speaking only one of the characters was named Thompson, the other was Thompson without the P. Stephen Duffy, a former member of Duran Duran, performed the minor hit single Kiss Me under the name Tintin, around the same time as the Thompson Twins had their success, but had to drop the name under pressure of a copyright infringement suit. The Australian psychedelic rock band Tintin was named after Tintin. Indian film actress Taboo has said in an interview that as a child she wanted to marry Tintin. In two early episodes of The Avengers TV show, Mr. Steed, Patrick McNee, is seen reading Tintin books, Land of Black Cold and Tintin in Tibet. Section 9. See also. Tantan Books, Films and Media. Franco-Belgian Comics. Lynn Claire. Creation of a Tantan Album. 
This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU free documentation license, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.